please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Carlsbad. It's a lovely Wednesday morning, and we have a great show planned for you today. To start it off, we'll have McKenna live in the studio with Mr. Bloomquist, and we'll also have Lancers, Dancers live in the studio later to start to start to continue the show. And, Mike, what else do we have today? That's right. We're also going to have Rowan live on the Magic Window and Mason live via DeGero to talk about the upcoming basketball game. Sounds like a great show. Let's get it started. I'm Wendy Maddox. I'm Michael Basista. And CHCV starts That's right, right now. now. Welcome back. To start off our show, we have a story on Aaron, produced by Wyatt and Nico. Let's take a look. I'm Aaron Harris. Uh, I'm a punter on the football field, and I graduated in 2021 from Carlsbad High School, and next year I will be going to the Naval Academy. But kicking wasn't always the plan for Aaron. Yeah, so basically uh, my junior year I was playing some pretty high-level soccer. I thought I wanted to play college soccer, uh, and ACL tear kind of ended that dream. And then I came back my senior year. I really wanted to punt, uh, see how I could do in the punting and kicking world. Um, unfortunately, the season was taken away because of COVID, so we only got to play in the spring. Um, and then, you know, by that time, kind of schools already had their guys, so I wasn't really able to get recruited anywhere. I wasn't getting any looks. But Aaron didn't let this slow him down. Yeah, so basically taking the gap year was <clears throat> my way of, uh, you know, giving myself an extra year to get recruited for football, uh, send my film out, go to a couple camps, uh, you know, at schools, and Navy was the first camp I went to. And Aaron had many doubters along the way. Yeah, you know, um, a lot of people, you know, thought I, thought I sounded dumb, you know, saying I'm taking a gap year and, you know, not going the traditional route of just going to a four-year college right after uh, high school. And, you know, there were moments where I wanted to quit and, uh, you know, just kind of take the traditional path, put football to the side. But, um, you know, signing today and knowing that, you know, all the hard work got me somewhere, uh, you know, is a really great feeling. But for sure, the work's not done. Uh, you know, I want to see how far I can go with this. I want to hopefully start next year and, you know, see if I could uh, even play beyond college. But that's a long way. Uh, so just got to keep grinding every day. Keep grinding, Aaron. For CHS TV with videographer Nico Arboy, I'm Wyatt Gora. Thank you, Nico and Wyatt, for that piece. Need spear wear? Lancer Jackson is open before school at break and at lunch. Come on by to make your purchase today. CUSD is participating in Speak Up, a national research project. If you would like to share your thoughts on technology use and virtual learning, see the front page of the CHS website. All CUSD high school students have free access to Schmoop for test prep, homework help, and study skills. Log in through your Clever account. Lancers, the new hours for COVID testing sites for Carlsbad High School and Sage Creek High School are Monday through Friday from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. And for Poinsettia Elementary, the new hours are Monday through Friday from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Next up, we have McKenna standing by live with Mr. Bloomquist on the Lightcraft Sports Set to talk about the Sage Creek basketball game tomorrow. McKenna? What's up, Carlsbad? I'm on the Lightcraft Sports Set with Mr. Bloomquist, the CHS Athletic Director. So what can we expect at tomorrow's game for Sage? Well, I, I hope an exciting game, first and foremost, uh, and hopefully a victory. Uh, our kids have been working really hard. And so um, tomorrow is going to be a mega event. So there's going to be uh, more than 500 students or attendees are going to be allowed into the, into the arena. So it's going to be probably the biggest uh, uh, event that we'll have this year for basketball. It sounds like it's going to be a huge game. So what are the COVID restrictions? So to get into the game outside of buying a ticket and your ASB card for Carlsbad won't work at Sage, unfortunately. So you got to buy a ticket online ahead of time at GoFan. But uh, a PCR test, a negative PCR test 48 hours before, um, a vaccination card, and an antigen home test will work. You just need to make sure your name is on, on that uh, antigen test. Uh, and you can use a picture of it. That's fine. 
but it can't be, you know, the same antigen negative test that's been passed around Carlsbad for the last two weeks. So uh, we need to make sure your name is on it, uh, so it's, we know it's you, and any of those three things will work to get into the game. And is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, we want to pack, pack the house, right? They're going to have a huge crowd. It's a big game for them. They don't have football, so this is like their go-to with a rivalry school. And so we want to we want to have our kids, and, and we want to show up in force and support our team in a positive and energetic way. Thank you for coming on our show. And, Michael, back to you. Thank you, McKenna. Writing Lab is available every morning during zero period in room 3211. No appointment needed. Just drop in. Math Lab is now available before school from 7.25 to 8.25 a.m. in room 7106. Boys Volleyball will be hosting open gym this Wednesday nights from 7.30 to 9 p.m. All are welcome, and be sure to bring tennis shoes, a mask, and a bottle of water. See you there. Winter Formal is next Saturday, February 5th at the Air and Space Museum in Balboa Park. Tickets are on sale now before school, at break, and at lunch in the student store. Ticket prices are currently $50 with an ASB sticker and $60 without an ASB sticker. Ticket prices will go up on Monday, so get yours this week for the best deal. Guest contracts for non cgs students are available in the student store and on LansingNation.org. Now for a break in the announcements, we're going to send it over to Luke, live with the Lancer Dancers. Luke? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm here with a few members of the CHS uh, Lancer Dance Team to talk about their upcoming competition next week. So Charlotte, uh, what is this uh, dance competition that you have? So the Excalibur team um, competes at the WCE National Competition at the end of April, and Lancer Dancers competes at UDA Nationals next weekend. Awesome. And uh, Maya, tell me what's going on this Thursday. Um, this Thursday is our friends and family event where you can watch a preview of the Lancer Dancers and Excalibur National Dances. It starts at 8 in the gym, and you can get there at 7.30 for refreshments. And uh, finally, Skyline, are there any rules for this event? Yeah, so you have to wear a mask at all times while you're in the gym, and you're also not allowed to record any of our dances while we're performing. That's awesome. Make sure to go out and support. That's all I have for today, and I'll send it back to the anchors at the desk. Thanks, Luke. Peer tutoring is available right now in the library. No appointment is necessary. Just drop in Monday and Friday before school and Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school. Next up, we have Rowan live on the Magic Winter to give us some updates for the new semester. Rowan? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm Rowan Boyd, and I'm standing here live on the Magic Window to give you guys some effective and helpful study tips to get your work done during the second semester. So first of all, the first one I have is go to the library after school. You know, Everybody in the library is doing the same thing as you, studying or reading a book, and there's no sound and nothing to distract you. You can't go on your computer, play video games, et cetera. So I think that's a great option. And when you get home and you have no homework, it's like the best feeling. The second thing is pretty obvious, but I recommend an agenda because when you see like the actual list of your, uh, your assignments, you'll be able to get them done a lot easier and it'll be more organized and you'll just have a way better time. This one's for the procrastinators like me. If you're a procrastinator like me and you want to get your work done, I recommend the five minute rule. The five minute rule is basically where you promise that you're going to work on an assignment for at least five minutes and at the end of the five minutes you can either stop working, but 95% of the time, you're just going to end up keep going, and you're going you're gonna to be really glad that you finished your work. So um, those are the three that I have for you today, Carlsbad, and now I'm going to send it back to the desk. Thank you, Rowan. If you have an important announcement that you would like to see on our show, visit chstv.com to submit. Tomorrow night, our Lancers will be facing off against the Sage Creek Bobcats at 6 p.m. at Sage Creek High School. For more information, we're going to send it over to Mason, live via DeGero. What do you have for us, Mason? Good morning, Carlsbad. I'm standing here outside of Sage Creek High School, where tomorrow night we will have an away game with men's basketball taking on the Bobcats. As this is classified as a mega event, you will be required for to have proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test at the door to attend. And then on Friday, we're going to take it back to Carlsbad High School and have a home game against Vista. Make sure you come out and support. Now I'm going to send it back to the desk. Thank you, Mason. And it was Michael's first time on the desk today. So Michael, how did it go for you? Yeah, I thought overall it was, a, it was a pretty fun time and I definitely hope to do it again. That's awesome. We'll be excited to have you back on the desk again. And be sure to come out and support this game against Sage Creek tomorrow at Sage Creek High School. And be sure to bring a proof of vaccination or have a negative COVID test. We'll see you next time on Sage TV. Bye. On and fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me. DJ Fraques in the building.